Some folks say, you want to really see the country? Take a bus, or hop a train, ride a bike. Me, I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. Stick to what I know, snowflakes. I know it's not for everyone, but so long as you pack light, I mean, and wear at least three layers of undies, it's a lovely way to spend a winter. calculations are right. We're about two seconds from landing in Beansboro. Nice little town. Plenty of parking space and lots of coke. <sighs> There's nothing like the first snow of the season. And believe you me, nobody loves it any more than the folks of Beansboro. They've got this annual carnival, you see, and I've been coming to it since I was knee-high to a snow cone. So when I heard it, might not happen this year. Well, I... Oh, uh, I I'll catch up with you later, all right? There's seven inches of that fluffy stuff on the ground already, and you know what that means. No school! No school! I love when the clouds burst open like one giant pillow fight. You stick out your tongue to taste them, the snowflakes so soft and white. I can't wait to make some angels or construct an icy fort. You need something to hide in, especially if your wine is short. We love the snow. Oh, no, not snow. We love the snow. Who needs the snow? It's better than rain. But causes such pain. The rain you can't throw. When the pipes begin to freeze, and everybody greets you with a sneeze, one of the heating bills will cost the time it takes us to defrost. Oh, I could live without snow. you're playing outside. Wasn't invited. Neither was I, but it's excellent packing. Let's go outside and make a fertility goddess. Maybe later. Right now we've got our rehearse for the winter carnival. Not again. Charles, if I'm going to perform for the whole town, every trick's got to be perfect. What's that for? Put it on and get in the box. Hurry, I want to saw you in half. Charles, do you want to help or not? Of course I do. But I'm a scholar, not a meatloaf. Charles, please. I just want to warn you, I am very ticklish. You won't feel a thing. That's why it's called magic. There's no such thing as magic. Everything has an explanation. The proper term is science. Now don't wiggle. Just close your eyes and relax. Relax? It's just your basic everyday cut off your head in three strokes handsaw. Now you ready? Can we at least crack a window? I'm roasting in here. Whoa! My hat! Whoa! Oh, it's a good thing I'm great! I'll be right back, Charles. I've got to get my hat! Holy! Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, M Miss Carbuncle. Is this how you spend your day off, young lady? Organizing a game of Tackle the Teacher? No, you see, I... I was practicing... Why don't you save your story for tomorrow's composition? Right now, Miss Carbuncle has a sidewalk to plow. Before you know it, this darn snow turns into slush. And where there's slush, there's ice. And where there's ice, there's broken hips. And where there's broken hips, there's substitute teachers! Miss Carbuncle? If you should see my hat... Not that I don't like the snow, just prefer it in its proper place, like on mountaintops 
and poetry, and songs by Bing Crosby. Goodbye, Miss Carbuncle. It's no winter wonderland when you're skidding into a telephone pole. Huh? My hat. Oh, no, you don't. You want to take something, take the tie. Unless you think I need it. I'd be well dressed for this winter carnival anyway. I mean, I don't want to underdress. But if I could get away with a tank top or something more cash. Who are you? The name's Frosty. And yours? Uh, I'm Holly. Holly DiCarlo. No. Not the Holly DiCarlo. The world famous magician? Heesh. Imagine that. First person I meet, and it's Holly DiCarlo. You must be thinking of somebody else. I'm not famous. And not a very good magician. That's not what your friends say. I don't have any friends, except for Charles. One friend is a lot different than no friends, kid. One friend is plenty. But we always fight. Charles only talks about science. He doesn't believe there's anything in the world that can't be explained. Huh, like, say, a snowman doing a cartwheel? Or singing Puccini? <laughs> or maybe dancing a mean mambo. Holly! Well, there you are. You locked your best friend in a box and just ran off. Now, how are you going to feel when poor Charles grows up and has to join a support group? I'm sorry, Mom. I ran out because... Here, take one of these cans and, and start spraying... Uh, Mom, this is Frosty. Well, I'm sure he is. Okay, now make, make sure you aim right at the snow and hold the can at least 12 inches away. What is this stuff? Well, it's the greatest invention since microwave pancakes. It's called Summer Wheeze. Watch this. Yeah? And you thought you were the only magician in the family, didn't you? Huh, didn't you? Lil, how did you get that sidewalk of yours so clean? You won't believe this, Merle, but I never had to lift a shovel. You're kidding. Watch this. Yo! Incredible. So, uh, what do you say we find a safer place to talk? Say, Siberia? Removing snow's a breeze with one blast of summer wheeze. Hmm, catchy, isn't it? I want those words painted on buses, billboards, large dogs! Ah? I suggest we hang a banner at Saturday's Winter Carnival. By Saturday, there should be a can of summer wheeze on every shelf. I'll go to that carnival a guest, but I'm going to leave it a king. A king, sir? You heard me. I'm about to give this town the greatest gift ever. A winter with no shoveling, no slush, no frostbite, clean streets and dry sidewalks. By this weekend, snow tires will be ancient history. And in return, they'll make me their king. That makes you prince, tuna breath. But, sir, what about the environment? This product may cause... Bones, hit the button. Uh... Any other objections? Good. We'll let the fun begin. Oh, no! Don't get upset, Frosty. Upset? Upset is waking up and finding out somebody forgot to give you a belly button. Upset is finding out somebody stole your nose to play foosball. This ain't upset, kid. This is panic. I'm too squirts from being history. Holly didn't sleep a wink that night. Neither did Frosty. Beansboro had suddenly become a scary place, at least to a happy-go-lucky guy like Frosty, who thought wearing no socks in January was living dangerously. Holly knew she had to do something fast if she wanted to protect Frosty. Yes! You gotta be kidding me. Shh, hurry. I'm going, Mom. Holly's plan seemed to flow without a hitch until... Holly, what is that sticking out of your desk? It's just my lunch. Turkey. Don't you think you should cook it first? <laughs> That's enough. Young lady, a school desk is no place for poultry, unless you choose to present it as a science project. I do. Well, then you'll have to wait until Charles has finished. Continue, Charles. Thank you, Miss Carbuncle. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Snow plays an important role in our environment. 
It is a major source of fresh water for the Earth, and without it, life on this planet would soon disappear. Isn't that right, Miss Carbuncle? Miss Carbuncle? Any questions? Yeah, I don't think snow's so important. My dad says it causes heart attacks. He must have snow confused with chili dogs. Any other questions? I think it should only snow one day a year for the winter carnival. After that, I wish it would melt so we could have 10 months of summer vacation. Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, that'd be right. All right, 10 right. months. Right. An attractive but dangerous theory. 10 months of summer and a beach party in January. A picnic. A volleyball tournament. That's right, no more snow. Do you realize what you're saying? Yeah, we want summer. No more snow. No more snow. No more snow. No more snow. Hey, no more hey. snow. Simmer down now. Where do you think you are, MTV? Charles, have you finished? Yes, Miss Carbuncle. Fabulous. Let's go, Holly. Bring on the bird. Holly? <laughs> doing out here? This is dangerous. I couldn't sit in there anymore, Holly. I started getting a cramp, then I got this freezer burn. You shouldn't be out here. If one of those trucks comes by... No, I think I finally found a place where the snow is here to stay. An ice castle! Won't be there for long. What are you talking about? I just came from my school. All the kids there were screaming, no more snow, no more snow. It was terrible. What did you say? Nothing. I was too scared. Whenever I try to talk, my mouth gets all dry and my hands get all clammy. I let you down, didn't I? You know, kid, maybe it's time you tried a different approach. Sometimes when the words just fail you, you're scared but you know they're wrong. I found that I get much further when I turn my thoughts to song. You know why you love this season, the joy that the snow can bring. So why should you stop to reason? Just open your heart and sing. Let there be snow, let there be snow. Need I remind you the autumn's behind you? Let the wind blow. This is a time of year to make figure eights across the lake. Such a magical sight when the world's dressed all in white. Whoa, let there be snow. The days may grow short and grayer, the cold may nip at your nose. But once there's a six inch layer, those soft flakes beneath your toes, you can't help but want to taste it or jump in a snowy pile. Why not build a fort or igloo or find a window to print your smile? Oh, let there be snow, let there be snow. Close down the schools and let's act like fools. There's parties to throw. I thought once you made your fortune, you could sit back and count your loot. But now that I've conquered Beansboro, I'm ready to trade this suit. I want a crown that fits me. I want a cape that blows. Six yards of fur and velvet, right down to my crooked toes. There's no more snow. There's no more snow. Look how they love me. The clouds up above me couldn't compete with my toe. Let Mother Nature try to win. I'll give her blizzards quite a spin. Just try and stop me. No one can stop me. Let my kingship begin. Let there be snow. Let there be snow. This kind of weather brings people together so friendships can grow. Why should we sit around and wait for summer days to celebrate? Such a magical sight when the world's dressed in white. Oh, let there be snow. Hey, Charles, this is Frosty. Nice to meet you. I take it he doesn't dance. Doesn't blink much either. What are you looking for? Batteries. <laughs> Lighten up, kid. Some things just can't be explained. Like rhythm. Come on, don't make me dance alone. Hold it. Stop the car. 
Stop the car! And stop the music. That snowman is flaking on one of my sidewalks. Bones! Who is that frostbitten clown? Must have come from the park. There's probably dozens of those snow critters in there just waiting to soil my sidewalks. <laughs> Don't just sit there, you overgrown bag of lint. Get them! I think we lost them. Well, did you spray him? Tell me the truth, Bones. There's a tuna casserole in it for you. They're leaving. I think we're safe. Not all of us. Frosty, what happened? Looks like the work of summer weeds. Oh, no. There's hardly any snow left on the ground. How are we going to help Frosty? You better think fast, guys, or I'm going back to the North Pole in a bowl. Sometimes it pays to have a man of science on your side. Most of us panic in a time of crisis. Me? I reach for a cup of cocoa. Helps me focus. But a kid like Charles, well, he looks at a problem as something to solve. Just when Holly was about to give up, Charles remembered something. What's that? Snow, I was saving it in the freezer for an experiment, but I figured Frosty needs it more than me. Gee, this place is starting to look drier than Miss Carbuncle's knees. Mr. Twitchell's trucks drove through while you were gone. Come on, we better hurry. Holly and Charles went right to work. They padded, they puffed, they packed, they patched, and by the time they were finished, they had no feeling in their fingers. But there was plenty happening in their hearts. But their smiles didn't last. When they checked out of that castle, they realized there was no place for Frosty in a snowless town. This is terrible. Don't worry, Holly. Frosty will last, at least until tomorrow. What's tomorrow? The winter carnival. Without snow? Gee, kid, if there was ever a time we needed magic, this is it. That's it! Come on! Well, will that crown fit me or not? I could always have the crown stretched or have my head shrunk. What is it? A snowfall! Don't fret, pussycat. That's exactly what we need for that carnival. We are going to make an entrance. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to Beansboro's annual winter carnival. <laughs> um, before the festivities begin, I would just like to say... Greetings, neighbors. Who says you need snow to have a carnival, eh? <laughs> It's hard to believe that we suffered for so many years. The slush, the frozen pipes, the icy streets. It's now or never, Holly. Summer Wheeze is not the kind of magic we look forward to every winter, Mr. Twitchell. Call security. Your product is dangerous. What's convenient for today isn't always safe for tomorrow. We need snow just as much as we need rain or, or sunshine or clean air. Little girl, I think your hat's too tight. Now, as I was saying... I'm not finished, Mr. Twitchell. And unless you've got a spray that makes little girls disappear, you're gonna have to listen. You've made your point, Small Fry. And I can assure you there is nobody here that finds anything magical about snow. Don't be so sure, Mr. Twitchell. The best kind of magic that only winter brings comes in a big snowy bundle that dances and sings. Oh, may I? Now, can somebody give me a B-flat? Let there be snow, let there be snow. This kind of weather brings people together so friendships can grow. Why should we sit around and wait for summer days to celebrate such a magical sight when the world's dressed in white? Whoa, let there be snow. The days may grow short and grayer. The cold may nip at your nose. But once there's a six-inch layer, those soft flakes beneath your toes, you, you can't can help but want to taste it or jump in a snowy pie. Why not build a fort or a glue or find a window to print your smile? Oh, let there be snow. Wow! 
Watch it, fool! I don't think we even need to vote this year, neighbors. There could only be one king in this crowd. Why should we sit around and wait for summer days to celebrate? With such a magical sight, when the world's dressed in white. Oh, oh, oh let there be snow. Mr. Twitchell? What do you want? I want you to know I was just helping a friend. You got your snow back, Missy. So why don't you leave me alone? Any chance you'd want to take a toboggan ride before you leave? On the royal sled? You only live once. Frosty, where are you going? I think it's time to move on, kid. Visit another town, make some new friends. But you've got friends. Here. Well, at least one friend. One friend is a lot different than no friends. One friend is plenty. You're right. Especially when it's you. Don't leave, Frosty. Don't worry, kid. I'll be back. Give you some time to find me a new bow tie. This time, no polka dots. Maybe something in a nice blue, not too busy. Or green. I like green. Brings up my eyes. Come on, Holly! And so the folks of Beansboro got their winter carnival after all. A tradition was saved. Summer wheeze was permanently canned, and Mr. Twitchell decided to make sleds instead of trouble. He should have known he was no match for Mother Nature or a little girl like Holly. Next stop, Winnipeg. Nice town, plenty of parking space, and lots of cocoa. Don't you cry, I'll be back again someday.